see him again in September. And I love doing it, man. I, I, I found myself, like normally I'm like, I shit talk everything I do, and I'm like, I suck, I know, blah, blah, blah. I thought I did a good job with the flash, so did everyone else. I said, come back and shit. But uh, I, was, I was looking for that. And I love doing it, because what I brought to it was only one thing. Normally when I make shit, like I do a lot of things. If I direct, my direct, I'm not a strong director. You ask any critic, they'll fucking tell you. And so I buttress my direction by doing two other jobs. Generally, I write the script, and then I edit the, the picture as well. So like, there's a lot of control, and I can shape and reshape and stuff like that. But in Flash, you don't get to do that. You know, it's like I had a writer, Zach Stens, for an amazing fucking script. And uh, there was an editor. Felicia was our editor. And I'm certainly not going to take a fucking job away from a woman in film. There's only like three of them left. <laughs> so I said, all right, I can't do either of the things that I normally do. I guess I'll just fucking direct, which is weird because that's what I was hired to do and shit. But normally when I direct, I do other things. Like I never really think of myself as a director. Most people don't either. But in terms of like what I, where I think of myself, director's not probably cool outside one. the top ten, honestly. Like, Podcaster would be like number one and shit like that, or dad or something like that. But maybe, maybe eleven would be fucking director or something like that. Ten would be great at eating pussy. That's how fucking. That's how little I think about directing and how little most people think about my directing. But going into that episode, I found like I was good at something, not visual styling or something. You don't need to. That show has a visual template. It looks the way it looks. You're not going to change it if you do. The audience would be outraged and stuff. So I couldn't bring anything new to the look. It's not like, let me show you fuckers how to shoot the Flash. Like, they know how to shoot the Flash. I can't, like, uh, shape the story, really. It's an ongoing story that all the writers have been working on since, like, the summer and stuff like that. So I can't normally do what I do. What I, what I brought to it, though, the only thing I figured out that I was good at, and, and it turned out to be a good thing, is I had, a, like, insane enthusiasm. Like, when I was a kid and I first started directing, I was emo cool and shit. But now I just wear my heart on my sleeve and, and you know, obviously with the video balling and shit, watching the show. When I got to set, like I don't direct, I, I, I kind of narrate everything. And I'm really when I direct, I direct like a Baptist preacher on coke. It's a lot of talk and shit and a lot of like, we're going to heaven and stuff like that. And like this is how I direct a fucking take a flash. Like we did a first take, it was perfect, made the tail end of it, the camera screwed up, there's a bauble and it's like, fuck, let's get one more that's fluid. But even though that was great, we just gotta go one more and shit. This is what I would say. I'd be like, all right, folks, we're going one more take, man. Take one was fucking brilliant. Grant is a genius. That, that performance and that fucking take was so good, they're probably gonna get him an Emmy. Fuck that, they'll get him a gold globe. You know what? They're gonna figure out a way to give him a fucking Oscar. Let's be honest. <laughs> I said, but anyway, all the good is his, only the bad is mine. We have to go one more take, man, because the camera went like this and shit like that. But don't think of this as a missed opportunity. Think of this as something wonderful, man. We are here together in this moment in time. We're never gonna fucking do this again. We're never gonna fucking stand in the same places again. We're never gonna say this shit again. You get one more fucking bite at the apple that so rarely happens in life. So I want you all to fucking break these bones and suck the marrow out, man, because we have the best fucking jobs in the world. We make pretend for a living and we do it on the flash. Let's go! And they're like, he's clearly on cocaine. Clearly. <laughs> but I wasn't. Yeah, I was baked. But I wasn't on cocaine. <laughs> I was just happy to be there and show us enthusiastic and like the crew and the cast would come over throughout the week and they'd be like, dude, I like this show, I like working here and stuff, but fuck, you make me really like it. Like your enthusiasm's infectious because I just scream shit out right before action. Like they'd roll, do this, they'd like roll sound, speed, and they're like, ready? And, the, and Bob, the AD, would point to me, you know, to say action. And then I would go like, you guys rock it, this is the best fucking job in the world, action! You know, like, for the first few seconds of the lines, they'd be like, <laughs> But they loved it. They'd come after over afterwards and be like, you're fucking right, this is great, isn't it? I was like, this is fucking amazing, this is better than great. So that kind of fucking enthusiasm, man, gets you invited back. Like Grant Gustin was just like, dude, you gotta come back next season, man, and direct an episode. I said, dude, I'd love to come back direct an episode. He goes, fuck, you gotta come back direct four. And I said, dude, if they let me, I'll direct all of them. <laughs> and Grant goes, just four. <laughs> And he was delightful. I loved working with him so much because he's such a like, pro. Like, I hear, mark my words in all age, I'll say and shit. He's going to lift tin one day. He's going to win a major award. The dude's like True Blue, method actor. If you watch that show, it rests very squarely on his shoulders. They have an amazing cast, but he does a lot of the heavy lifting. It's all about him and shit like that. I watched his process. He actually fucking has a process. He's method and shit. Reminds me of like the only three other people I've ever worked with that work like him. Matt Damon, Alan Rickman, and Johnny Depp, so he's in fucking good company and shit. So I honestly believe one day he's gonna win an award shit. 
loved working with them in the ship. And one of my favorite things we did was when you do that show, you get to see how they do everything. And I'm a religious fan of the show. And like everyone else, like I don't watch the show, like I'm a director, I know how they do this. I'm immersed, man. I'm like, he runs so fucking fast, like you trick me very easily. <laughs> So I was looking at the script, and they go, uh, in the script it says, uh, Flash soups into the breach room. And I said to Bob, the AD, I was like, Bob, I think there's a misprint in the script that says Zoops. And he goes, yeah, Zoops. I said, what, I, I, what is Zoops? He goes, you know, it's when he fucking comes in the room real fast, or he runs out, you know, he Zoops. I said, dude, I've been reading comic books my whole life. I've never seen the word Zoops. I thought this was a misprint, and it's like Zoom or something like that. Like, how'd you get to this? And he goes, oh, he goes, you know what? The director of the pilot came up with that. He goes, he's not into comic books that much. So he didn't know any of the terminology. And he came in, he goes, all right, so the super fast guy's going to zoop in over here, zoop over there, zoop over there, zoop up there, and then we're done. And the writers were like, Z-O-O-P-S. And it stayed in the script. So I was like, dude, I can't wait to see the Zoop. I love fucking the Zoop. It's one of my favorite moments in every Flash episode when he bolts out of a room or comes into a room. It's a very simple, very simple moment of you know, communicating. He's fucking fast. And they usually do it by papers go flying and, and fucking everyone's hair goes blown, which blows my mind because he's like one of the smartest people in the world is surrounded by geniuses and scientists, yet none of them can figure out put a fucking paperweight on those goddamn papers, man. So, so we, we go, I, I said, I can't wait to shoot the zoop, Bob, I can't wait. And Bob goes, oh, that's right, you don't know how they shoot the zoop, do you? And I was like, no. And he goes, boy, you're in for a fucking disappointment. <laughs> I said, really? He goes, yeah, you'll see on Wednesday. And so we didn't shoot Monday or Tuesday. We just shot Grant like out of the suit and stuff like that. And I didn't get to see the suit until Wednesday. Wednesday was the first day that the suit played. And if you're making Flash, sooner or later, you want to see that fucking suit. And it was a suit-free episode pretty much until like one sequence toward the end. So, you know, I, I we were... We were doing blocking, and all of a sudden I hear Bob, the AD, goes, um, hey, Grant's here, and he's got the suit on, so let's block fast, because the suit's hot. And so I turn around, and there's Grant wearing the suit, man, which is honestly, like, the reason I'm there, right? Like, I fucking love Flash my whole life, and there he's wearing the suit. And the suit, under the lights, on the set, like, look amazing. Stun like, you're gobsmacked. It's like, oh, my God. And it'd be ridiculous, because I'm, like, a 45-year-old man. I'll be 46, like, in a minute. It'd be ridiculous for me to be like, my dick got hard looking at it. Because my pussy got wet is what happened. Like, oh, God. Dude, I needed a towel to dab and stuff. It's crazy. I said, you look amazing. This is so fucking hot. I said, why don't they do this in the real world, man? How come people don't put on uniforms and, like, fight crime? And he goes, they do. They're called police. I was like, yeah, but they fast like you. I was like, we're going to shoot the zoop, dude. I can't wait to shoot the zoop and shit. We're going to have you zoop into the breach room. That's the first thing we're going to shoot, the zoop. And he goes, oh, he goes, you're excited. And I was like, yeah, I can't wait to see the zoop. It's one of my favorite things in the show. And he goes, oh, you don't know how we do the zoop, do you? And I said, no. And he goes, boy, you're in for a disappointment. I was like, that's what Bob said. So Bob goes, what's your shot? And I said, well, you know, we got the cameras in the back of the room here, and we put Joe and Cisco and, and uh, Iris in front of the cameras, and we spread enough so we can see through. Backs are two cameras. And then the mid-ground's going to be empty and stuff, throwing a little atmosphere, really scout that bitch. And then in the back door, which is open, that's, the, that's where Flash will zoop into our room and stuff. And he goes, uh, okay. He goes, all right, fair enough. Everyone get into positions and stuff. Everyone lines up. And he goes, two cues for action, Kevin, is what Bob tells him. He goes, action camera, and that's, that's, that's when we're going to roll. Don't do or say anything after that until I say action grant. I said, why? What's going on? He goes, we just need about eight, ten seconds of a plate shot so we can get him into the room fast. That's where we do the effect. I was like, all right, this is great. Here we go, man. He goes, action camera, and the camera turns on and starts moving slightly, and Joe and Cisco and I were sit there and go, like they freeze like they're statues and shit. Like you would freeze on the playground if somebody freeze tagged you when you were a kid. And they stood like that for eight seconds. You know how fucking weird it looks when adults are like, <laughs> they fuck their minds. And uh, eight seconds went by and finally uh, Bob goes, okay Grant, come on in. And Grant, in the full costume, just walks into the doorway and stands there. And I'm looking at it, and, and Grant gives the thumbs up. 
And Bob goes, okay, action Grant. And Grant goes, what did I miss? And that's the zoop, man, right there. That little hop is the fucking zoop. And I started laughing so hard, I blew the tape. I was like, ah! I was like, do you fuckers realize the way you make the Flash is the way I used to play the Flash on the playground? This, this is adorable. How they get the wind effects, man, like how everybody's fucking hair and a paper's so blown, is there's somebody right off camera with what looks like a flamethrower on their back holding a large gun muzzle right at anybody that's not Grant. And as soon as Grant does the zoo, these fuckers get blasted with 300 pounds of air pressure in their faces for this device. So it's like an air, face, neck, and chest oxygenated porno. But even more adorable is like, that's when he zoops into a room. Like that's when he arrives. And he, you know, stands at the door, he goes like this and dives right into the scene. So it keeps it kind of tense because there's a lot of talky talky after that one. But when he leaves the room, when he has to zoom out of the room, it's fucking even better and shit because he can't really run fast. <laughs> so what happens is like you're building tension in the scene, right? And fucking like everyone's like being very tense and like, there's only one thing to do, Barry, you gotta save him. He's like, I'm on it. And he fucking goes, and then he just has to walk away all sad. <laughs> like Charlie Brown, because he can't run fast in real life. Oh my God, I fucking love it.